Eighth grade teacher Gabriel Siegel knows his students here at Hornton Middle School in Fairfax County like they're his own kids. When I see students, like even if it's one of my students I mentor that's having a rough day, the first question I ask him isn't, hey, are you okay or how are you? It's, did you eat today? Because the majority of the time they're not eating. A problem Siegel first noticed talking to parents before the pandemic. Just through conversation with them, I learned that this was a common theme of school meal debt. In Fairfax County, middle school meals cost $3.50 with a half pint of milk, $4.10. The district says about a third of students do get free meals or help to pay. According to Capital Area Food Bank's 2022 hunger report, 24 percent of residents in Fairfax County, where the median household income is more than $100,000, struggle with food insecurity. So if you have a family of four and they're all eating lunch, that can quickly add up. With inflation sticking around, Siegel, the adopted son of two FCPS high school teachers, decided to carry on the legacy of caring for kids. And my whole point is to not only raise money, but also raise awareness. He now spends hours each week calling nonprofits. His effort featured in the Washington Post earlier this year. And since then, he's raised even more for a total of more than $40,000. And this isn't the first time Mr. Siegel paid off student lunch debt. The last time he did this, he used his stimulus check to pay off more than $600 in student lunch debt at Sleepy Hollow Elementary. As Siegel says, meal debt in Fairfax County is nearing a million dollars. He wants to keep the message going, now meeting with county and state leaders to get free lunches in all Virginia schools, no matter what parents make. Because a lot of families need help. I mean, it's just that simple. If I can impact, you know, just one family or even dozens, I know I've done something pretty special.